Obadiah's last thing that he shares with us, and we're going to use verse 15, even though he's going to 21 verses, is a reminder for you and a reminder for me. And he's sharing with each one of us that it's just a matter of time before the Lord comes back for us all. See, all the prophecies in the Old Testament have taken place except for Jesus coming back. And each day, we're all preparing for that, whether we realize it or not. The actions that we take, the things that we do, we are preparing for God to come back for each one of us. And in our minds and in our hearts, are you resolved with God? Because because this is what Obadiah is trying to get across to these people. Listen, if we keep taking these poor steps and we keep making these poor decisions and we keep doing these things that we know God doesn't want us to do, it's just a matter of time before it's going to come out and it's just a matter of time before is, someone is going to be made aware of it. So why then will we not just choose to stop doing it and understand that if we'll just put God first that He will honor that. And that is what Obadiah is trying to say to you and he's trying to say to me. Let's put those things away. Let's put away the pride, let's put away the arrogance, let's put away the fear, and let's listen to a guy who only wrote 21 verses in all. A guy who gave us a warning and said, hey, just take a look at what you're doing and why you are doing it, because that is the most important thing, what comes from the heart. It overflows out of our mouth and overflows in the actions that we do, and we want to put God first. At least I think that's what we want to do. Rest in that tonight, the rest principle will be tomorrow, and we will see you next week.